Hello everybody, it's Van Vermin here. Welcome back to another Steam Deck video. So thank you to everyone for the for the comments on the last one about the unsupported games. And from that I decided to have a look at using Proton Tricks with Batman Arkham Asylum. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to really run it through with you so you sort of know what you're doing if you um, run across this yourself. So head into the desktop mode, um, go into the software store and download Proton Tricks. It is on there. Um, there's a yeah five, five star and a one star review at the minute, but uh, it does seem to work. So yeah, um, install that or press uh, add to your desktop and then it will be in your main browser. Um, and looking at ProtonDB, which is one of the places I got um, pushed to, to have a look at this, uh, in the properties of your game file, you can add, um, it is under the general tab, I don't know why I clicked around a bit, I should have probably cut this bit out, but never mind. Um, yeah, you want to add in what we've got here, which is Proton Tricks, DX3, DX9, and then space, uh, D3D compiler underscore 43. So effectively, what these are is they are the Windows um, DLLs, I believe, that are sort of missing or need to be integrated for the game to work. So just installing um, Proton Tricks doesn't automatically, and the code doesn't automatically make it work. You hit the same issue as you do um, on the normal SteamOS settings. But I just wanted to go through and show you what I've set it to for the purposes of this video. So I think it was, I think I put it down to 720p and also medium settings as well. So just so it lines up with, or 800p, just so it lines up with uh, what we'd expect to see from, you know, from the Steam Deck. And also I sort of, I don't mind medium on the Steam Deck. I think that sort of works quite well. And apparently make sure that your uh, hardware accelerated physics is off because that can apparently cause some issues. So yeah, but even doing all that <laughs> still leads you to the same error screen that you get about those two, um, well, DirectX 3, uh, sorry, DirectX 9 um, compilers being wrong. And then what you need to do is go into Proton Works, select Batman as the game that you want to work on, I think. Or at least that's how I did it. Um, and then you can go into the Windows DLL compiler and then you want to select those two that are on, that are um, within the... Um, the added line of code uh, through Steam. So that's the, the underscore 43 one and then the... And then also the, yeah, DirectX 9.3. Um, and then you get some warnings come in through the uh, Proton Tricks, which is also also Wine Tricks as, as well. It's called two things. I mean, I believe they're both similar and work um, in tandem. And then, yeah, you can play it on the, I mean, I did play it on the Steam desktop, but only because I wanted to check to see if it works. Um, and as you'll see, it does work through the Steam desktop. Spoiler alert. I don't know, I'm way ahead of, <laughs> my script is way behind what's going on on the screen, so apologies for that. Um, but yeah, you know, I really sort of enjoyed putting this together. I do have some gameplay um, from the Steam Deck at the end. So it's just the first opening sequence, and then like the first... Um, fight tutorial fight as well for you to see it running uh, the audio is not like 100 percent, but i gotta say it works better than than not working at all so yeah i was really i'd say genuinely impressed with it um, i didn't test the performance for desktop as in just running it on the desktop um, although i will say i don't think my capture card is capturing the sound particularly well for whatever reason uh, it's a bit broken up i don't know if that's just the way i've been the way that i've captured it or if it's something that uh is yeah i don't know maybe it's through obs where the issue is but yeah the crackling you're hearing was not experienced in the actual game so, so yeah just really, really want to take the opportunity to as i say thank everyone for the comments and suggestions on things we can do to figure it out i'm sort of a bit torn between you know, just just installing the games and seeing if they work as like uh, a a dumb experiment. If someone who wasn't, I suppose, prepared to go in and and set up something like Proton Tricks or prepared to you know mess around with um, extra instructions on through Steam, how would it work? Could it still work? You know, through just using the UI on the Steam Deck, um, or you know, and then also looking at it instead in terms of 
you know, things that we can do to get it working. So I'm quite happy with both approaches, really. Um, but yeah, it does make things add a little bit more added complexity. Um, I think because the audio is off, I'm going to remove the audio from the gameplay, unfortunately. But if you want to see how it runs, um, then, like I say, that's coming up now. But yeah, unfortunately, it will be silent because my audio didn't record properly. But that's something I'll look into, and I'll try and get that sorted for uh, for the next video. So just you just have to take my word for it that it does run, that the audio does run as it should do. Okay. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that video. I enjoyed messing around and having a go with uh, the Steam desktop again, and I'm sure that's something I will look to do in, look to be doing a lot more. Okay. Bye for now.